All right, guys, coming down to the end of the development on the first bow tie port. I did notice these have quite a bit of course shift. So the next intake port I do will have a different shape than this because on, uh, on this port that I'm working on, the bowl on the left-hand side there is definitely a little bit thinner than what I've got in the other, the other ports. Always a good idea to take a, 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 some preliminary measurements on your bowls before you work on them. I should take my own advice on that. Well, in any case, what I did was uh, I worked on evening out the speeds on that short side radius a little bit. And intake valve looks pretty decent. We still got a nice wide, wide spot. It did go towards the roof a little bit more. Spot on the uh, chamber cut looks good. We've got uh, a lot of splatter actually. I think more than usual amount of splatter across the plug. And uh, it's all the way around that chamber. Okay, looks good. Yeah, the port itself hasn't been changed. I did give more area in certain areas of the short side radius. Nothing you guys would be able to see. But uh, in order to do that, you know, I did that to even out those air speeds across the short side a little bit. Let's see how I did. Okay, fourth cut was actually pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the, the flows on that, but I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with the speed discrepancy across the short side radius. Everything else looked good. Uh, you know, the cylinder roof was really good. That wasn't uh, bad as far as push rod bench. But let's see. Let's see uh, how we do. Sorry, Rob. I had to. I'm, I'm busy filming. I can't. I can't answer the phone on you right now. Okay, where were we? Okay, minus, 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 only a little bit, but, you know, it makes a difference. So I was getting that high speed short side radius was helping at the lower lifts. may not be good for my, my, uh, my street application. Okay, plus, minus, plus. Plus, you know, 209 and change is higher than I was expecting. It was, it was 208.7. 235 is good. Plus, went down a touch at 500. Went from 290 to 287. Lost 3 CFM. And lost a tiny bit at 0.567. But gained a little bit way up top. Okay. As far as the swirl, plus, 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 minus, minus, minus. These two zeros may not be zeros. Uh, my swirl meter may have had uh, a bit of a fit. I restarted it when I got to when I got to the third zero. I restarted the uh, the swirl meter and she she started to read. So these may just may not exist they might be they might be more like this but anytime you're dealing with electronics you know that could happen plus minus plus plus take a look at your air speeds across your pinch now this was measured at 0.567 and I lost the tiniest bit of flow All right from 285.4 to 283.9 so we gained a little bit of speed on the roof, which is not great. Loss, loss. But they're they're not bad as far as being even. This is actually these are actually better numbers. So the pinch hurt a little bit. As far as our uh, speed on the roof, 181, 180, uh, we stuck right with those numbers. Really, it just went up a teeny bit. And as far as short side radius, we had two numbers in the 400s. Uh, we did do as we 
we're trying to knock knock this speed down a little bit. So we've got a minus plus plus. It is more even than it was. Still a little fast in the mid in the middle. Now I didn't change the layback or anything on the short side radius. It's still very high for a bow tie head. And uh, one of the reasons it's as good as it is right, right in this mid-range. We're going to leave it like that. I didn't do anything on the exhaust because the exhaust is basically done the way it is right now. But uh, I do have something cool to show you. I dug these out of my, uh, my garbage pile. These were ported by Slovers who knows how many years ago, you know, and, and uh, I actually have uh, I have a set. And the first thing I noticed with them is they've been angle milled a lot. I mean, they could have been flat milled, but I'll, I'll find out for sure. But I think I have one of them that I worked on and one of them I haven't touched. Now, take a look. That's an, almost an upside down D. They definitely attack the exhaust port completely different than, than I attack the exhaust port. Now I gotta go through these and make sure they're thick enough to even use. You know, these were a swap meet find. And they were bow ties, I couldn't say no. Uh, they did it they did get blown up at one point. One of them one of them has some welding in the chamber. But I'm not as long as it was done right. I got no problem running a welded welded head. I believe these are both phase two bow ties because the boat the phase two has no exhaust crossover. All right, and these are my original bow ties. They actually have the blown out water passages here, so these are newer than these because they don't have the blown out water passage on these. Okay, interesting stuff. I I have to go to a storage and get the other the other Slover bow tie. I don't think that one was touched. This one I did a bunch of I did do some work to this one. And the work that I did on it, it looks pretty good considering. Uh, I know I know I worked on these when I first got to Florida, so this work some of this work that's on here. It's probably about eight years old. You know what I don't like is take a look at what they they have for for guides on these. Not happy with that at all. Now I don't know if there's enough metal there for me to put guides in, but my you know straight bronze wall guides. What that is, it's, it's a thin, it's a thin bronze wall guide that's screwed in, I believe. can see you can see there's screw threads so it looks like you thread these and then screw that bronze in and finish it I can't even tell you how old that that system is I know I've never used it and uh, I definitely don't like it uh, and you can see they, they machined the, the entire guide boss completely out of this so that uh, that exhaust has got a short pretty short guide boss and uh, literally is almost <laughs> almost completely opposite of this one right. these are quite a bit taller as well so they they really raised this exhaust quite a bit you can see how thick thick this flange is versus how thick this flange is big difference all right guys I think that's enough for one day. Uh, was that I was at storage because I had to get a bunch of junk out of here to make some room for Rob's 340 block. So we got that over here. We got it on the stand and uh, take a look at that. He got we got his intake valves in. Exhausts are are uh, back ordered. Uh, he wasn't happy about that. So we're gonna see if we can do something else with that. In any case, semi-productive Saturday. All right, guys. Thanks for having hanging out.
Have a good night.